so much. All right, Steve Buden, our financial analyst, is here on Monday, as he always is. And we got a bunch of things to talk about um, that are pretty interesting. The first one has to do with Italy, and this is creating a lot of buzz. I woke up and I saw a lot of people talking about this online. What's going on? Yeah, and it ended up being a big bust for the market reaction, at least. The Italians voted yesterday to keep their constitution the way it is, mm -hmm. as opposed to change it to streamline the legislative process. And the fear was that this no vote would throw some chaos into the situation because the Italian banks are having some issues and they need to recapitalize, basically raise okay. more money. And if the vote went a certain way, the banks would have been able to go to the government for some extra funding. It didn't work out that way. But just when you think you've understood everything, the Italian markets and European markets didn't really flinch, mm -hmm. maybe because they were expecting this. It wasn't that big of a surprise. Yeah, I think a lot of people were expecting something to happen today, though, yeah. don't you think? Like, okay. Yeah, no, I, I certainly <laughs> was, and yeah. it, it didn't happen. Right, yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah. All right. Hey, let's talk about uh, Donald Trump. President-elect Donald Trump still kind of tweeting. Everyone didn't know if he was going to, you know, change his ways, but he's still on Twitter, and uh, he is, is tweeting away. And we were talking earlier, like, is this going to affect, can what <laughs> he says, daily affect financial markets, things like that. Oh, absolutely. And, and the, the challenge here is, you know, last week he went to Indiana to call out a particular company, Carrier Air. He called out another one this morning. And I think that by him trying to affect policy by tweet is not necessarily the best idea. Mm -hmm. He called out China over the weekend about manipulating their currency and dealing with the South Pacific mm -hmm. and dealing with trade deals. You know, the Chinese won't take kindly to that. So. I know we'll be talking about this a lot in the next four years, Trump right. and his tweets. He needs to learn that you don't necessarily try calling out companies. Imagine you're a company in the United States and you're thinking of undertaking a particular policy and you're afraid the president's going to call you out, raise your taxes, right. impose tariffs, and, and name your company by name. Not necessarily a way to run things. What they should do is you know, do it for everybody, simplify the tax code, decrease regulation so all of the technology companies, all of the manufacturers are treated the same. But don't you think that some people say, well, he's, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Well, he's, he knows the consequences, things like that. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And I think the markets have given him an enormous benefit of the doubt up till now. Mm -hmm. But if, if China begins to push back, if some of these other com companies tend to push back, he may not have that slack that he used to. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about these these new possibly, well, I know there's one, yeah. but there could be more coming. Amazon grocery stores without cashiers. Yeah, th yeah. <laughs> this is just Crazy. The, the future coming. Uh, Amazon Go is in its test phase up in, in Seattle, mm -hmm. and this is a, a grocery store that Amazon is going to be bringing out in 2017 where you walk into the store, you, you, you put your app to the uh, reader, you walk into the store, you do your shopping, mm -hmm. and you walk out. No checkout lines. Check out line, uh, and basically, the way they're doing this is through facial recognition mm -hmm. and other algorithms and robotics. And it's just fascinating to me. And I bring these up because, again, this is where our society is going. And it has enormous impacts. I know sure. one of our uh, producers was saying, what about all the cashier jobs that are out there? Right. Well, this is something we as a society are going to have to face. There's over 3 million cashiers in this country. And if this comes through, you'll have a lot less of those. I know. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, we want to keep them. But then you're like, oh, right. that sounds really convenient. You know what I mean? Sure. I walk in, I walk out. So we'll keep our eye, yeah. obviously, on this and sure. see if we see more and more of those pop up. Thanks, Steve, sure. for joining us. Stay with us. We're back after this.